Hey, how's it going? Well, hopefully YouTube won't mess up this video like they did my last one, where they put a flash of black every five seconds until the two minute 35 second mark. I don't know what was up with that. It didn't show that up that way on BitChute. The original file obviously isn't that way, but for some reason YouTube did that to it. Hopefully that won't happen to this one too. Anyway, um, I get annoyed when people essentially play stupid. Or they, they make a, a somewhat disingenuous kind of argument. And I've seen it from a number of people, and recently I, I, I've seen it from people that I, I have a lot of respect for, so I'm not, I, I, I can't be too sarcastic in the way that I frame their question. But it annoys me when people say, oh, well, I've never heard of someone pushing for equality of outcome. And I'm like, yes, you have. They didn't word it that way. Just like SJWs don't call themselves SJWs. It's a name that other people give them. It's just like, you know, Republicans, plenty of Republicans pushed for uh, tr trickle-down economics, you know, and when you really push at it, it oh, uh, supply-side economics. Don't call it trickle-down economics. I don't like the way that's framed. It's like... Oh, geez. So, you know, when it comes to equality of outcome, what's being referred to is equal representation. You know, it has to do with equal representation of, of sex or gender, uh, religion, sexual orientation, and race. Equal representation to where, you know, it matches that of the general populace. This would be in workplaces, especially in positions of management. This would be in the government. A lot of Europe is pushing for this sort of thing in government, especially when it comes to a gender. They're trying to push for there being eventually 50% women in the government, you know, that sort of thing. In, in entertainment, we've seen this being pushed in entertainment, and it annoys a number of people. Now, the entertainment, you know, I, I could see it more there than in other places, but it sometimes ruins stories. They have to rewrite stories to somehow fit different demographics that don't normally fit into the story, you know. But, you know, that's what the equality of outcome model is about. It's like taking affirmative action and just ratcheting it up like crazy, okay? That's what it's referring to. Now, it's great when this happens naturally when simply having non-discrimination policies ends up giving more representation naturally. But not everyone from every demographic has as much schooling, has as much experience, has as much qualifications for something. You can't push this artificially, or you end up giving someone a job when there was someone else who was actually more qualified. Being a demographic shouldn't be a qualification. Just like, you know, with, with Hillary saying that, oh, well, you should, you should get, vote for someone on their merits, and one of my merits is that I'm a woman. Okay? It's just, you, you, can't, you can't vote for someone just because, I mean, you can, but it's, it's bullshit. Vote for someone just because they're of a particular demographic. It's messed up. You know? It should be merit-based. All this stuff should be merit-based. Then we have the situation like, I mean, how about in the UK, the fire department in the UK, making it so, uh, you know, women and minorities can pass these tests with 60% and get in, but white men have to pass with 70% to get in. Yeah, that's messed up. And that's what's being talked about. That's what equality of outcome is about. Now, if you honestly and genuinely didn't know that, I I'm kind of surprised. If you did know that, and you just want to be able to say, Oh, I, I've i never heard of this. Then you're being like Republicans saying, I've never heard of someone pushing trickle-down economics. 